Hey guys, Hi guys. Welcome, welcome to our age, <laughs> Raw Reality of a Hustler. I'm Donna. And I'm Erica. And this is George. He's a massage therapist. And just to briefly tell you guys how we know George, we've actually only met him um, not too long ago. And I know him from my husband who, uh, he's a client of his. And I've gone to him once before. I know Erica goes to him a few times now. And so, yeah, how do you know George? <laughs> so I got introduced by, we get all connected yeah. here, but um, yeah, she, of course you guys all know we've been in a pandemic and I haven't gotten a massage in a while. So she mentioned she's getting a massage and I checked it out and I really like his work. So I've been coming here now. If you guys, whoever is out there who's interested in becoming a massage therapist, this is the video for you to watch. So. Let's get started. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, my name is George. Um, I'm the CEO and founder of Generations Massages, um, which before used to be osteopathic massage by George. Um, however, what is it? Um, Generations Massages touches more of a key with uh, the general people you know instead of uh, osteopathic which a lot of people don't really know um i'm a father of two been a massage therapist for six years now i've been okay. employed by different companies uh, including massage mv elements um so yeah uh, i i know my craft <laughs> <laughs> so professional here <laughs> So what made you get into massage? Like six years ago, what happened that you're like, massage, I want to do that? Originally, I got into it because of my uh, mom. She got a heart murmur and um, I kept looking for alternatives into the blood thinners. I saw the secondary effects of a blood thinner and it was, yeah, it was scary what I read. Um, so I kept looking into alternatives and massage kept coming up and just, uh, through, through the wanting of helping my mom, you know, I, I got into this career. So for our viewers who may want to get into massage therapists, can you kind of walk us through what are the classes or if there were classes that you had to take, maybe some certifications you had to um, apply for to become a certified massage therapist? Yeah, um, well, I went to Southern California Health Institute, um, aka Sochi. Uh, the classes that I took um, were, there, there were a lot of different ones, anatomy, Knees. Uh, four year program? And it was it was actually all packed into a four year program. It was all driven towards movement movement of the body and what is it, um muscles that you're gonna have to be dealing with to be licensed or certified by the state board of of what is it, uh of California, which is the California Massage Therapy Council. You need to have, I believe it is, two hours of whatever massage and 600 hours of, I mean, 200 hours of whatever kind of massage, 600 hours of deep tissue therapy, because mm -hmm. usually deep tissue is the is the ask. one, yeah, is the main one that you can hurt somebody with. So they want you to get a, a good handle on that um, and go through a certified school, which, you know, Southern California Health Institute is yeah. a certified school so to add to that like you said it's like any other certification does that mean that you have to maintain that certification every year right it's okay. every two years that you have to maintain that certification and you have to hold your own um insurance once uh, every every year although um i do it through avmp and what they do is they'll just bill me on a monthly yeah. If you make it go on inactive, you need to go through the whole process all over again. Oh, wow. Yeah. Before year school? Yeah. <laughs> Is it costly? Oh, yeah. Before school You're, and getting recertified? Um, well, getting recertified is only like, um, I think it's like 200 
so it's not much yeah, yeah. Uh, versus yeah. versus like you know the money that you can get the schooling yes it, it is costly at least for me it was um around 15 15 thousand for the year. for the whole you know the whole year yeah. that i was in there so i know you mentioned earlier and i know from just talking to you and coming uh, here that you've worked with other companies i think you mentioned some generations elements um so overall, what has been your experience in the industry? And can you talk about maybe some bad experiences that you have had? Um, I've seen many bad experiences. They, they have had an ongoing uh, problem that I believe that uh, has led them to go to court through. Um, and yeah, they, they, what they did was they would tell you that they're paying you a certain amount but then it's a service hour amount so though if you're not in service they're gonna give you like less than that so it's it's kind of entrapment so i think i think they were being sued they were in a lawsuit because of that also um of course, as as in in this industry, it is just um, it's just imperative to keep your your insurance, just because you never know who is so happy, especially here in California. Mm -hmm. So you know you have to have somebody that's backing you up because you know, yeah, the, the California is so happy. How would you compare working for? another company versus um, working for yourself and managing your own business <laughs> well i mean managing your own business is, is kind of it's way different because you know as a worker you worry about getting your money you know versus as your own boss everybody's your boss so you you worry about you know not just your money you're worried about equipment costs and um you know new new stuff that you can incorporate that's going to help your clients um in many ways um also there's you know there's just um as in massage in the massage industry as the same as any other other industry you know we have a lot of new things coming out a lot of new new um, ideals mm -hmm. and a lot of new things that, that can be incorporated that are beneficial for every patient. And every patient is different. So the more techniques that you know, the more techniques that you can help with. How, how do you get most of your clients now that you're doing this on your own? Is it through marketing yourself? I know here you're at a barber shop. Does that bring in most of the clientele? Oh yeah, just the, I guess, quick info. We're in, this is the, I guess, what would you call it? The massage A, a room? studio room instead of a, <laughs> inside of a barber shop, yes. Yes, yeah, so we're in a studio and there's a barber shop out there. So if you guys hear a little bit of background noise, that's what that is. Um, <laughs> But yeah, how do you get most of your clients? I did notice like you're not as established on social media. So how are, cause it seems like you're busy. Yeah. Um, well, I get, got busy just because, I mean, a lot of people say I'm good. Um, <laughs> <So humble. laughs> um, what is it? Uh, I, I get a lot of, uh, referrals from Yelp. Um, and so, Yelp is, is one of the biggest tools and you know all of my Yelp um, reviews, reviews are there and I mean and you know sometimes it, it seems unreal that you know that all of these people because all these people are real people I'm not paying yeah. anybody to to do their their what is their reviews I'm just asking you know um, to give them a review and a lot of them are giving me five stars. So apparently I'm doing something right. And, um, you know, as far as it goes, yeah. I mean, it's it's kind of, uh, this is a roundabout business. Uh, this is a new concept. Um, I do think when it comes down to a massage place inside of a, of a established 
barbershop, yes. It's something new. So we're introducing a way where you can come get your hair cut and if you need a massage, come in after. And yes, you're right. Social media, I'm not that good at. But yeah, that's it was so. This will go on your social media, right? Yeah. <laughs> You'll have a little interview there so people can have a little bit of background of who you are. How do you distinguish yourself from other massage therapists in the area? Most of the people that are coming back is because they're getting the results that they need. Um, and that's the whole thing. Like sometimes, sometimes, you know, other massage therapists. They're not goal driven. They're, they're not, you know, a person comes to them and says, I have a pain in my shoulder and they're not going to work out that pain. They're going to go on ahead and give you a, a sequence that they learned. They're just going through the motions. They're not really feeling for the area and understanding what's going That's on, you know? Yeah. And, and I think I've gotten very good at it throughout my years doing this just because i mean i think intent goes a long way and that's usually my intentions you know and every massage you know because it's more of a functional massage so the big question here is how has covid affected your business and how have you handled it um well the business has been affected, impacted, uh, bad. It was just, you know, not being able to work with people for a whole year, you know, sets you back quite a bit. Um, you lose clients, you lose touch in people. And so it, it gives you like a little bit of depression because, you know, the career that you picked isn't working or to them is non-essential but in all reality you know people kept calling me people kept you know begging me because I've, I've been very good at taking care of low back pain and um it, it's sad that you know something that you deem unessential but people are still coming for you because they need that yeah. help so has covid effect affected a uh, massage yeah for a whole year we were shut down now we're you know barely trying to come back back into this and you know but i mean we're gonna hit the ground running just because people need us yeah. if they wouldn't need us then you know we wouldn't have any business yeah of course so where do you see your business in three to five years what's your plan well i mean at first, I, I was thinking, you know, of just like, you know, staying, staying here and ha helping people. But, you know, the more I walk, the more I understand that, you know, maybe my mission is to teach people. I see myself opening up a another place, but with the same functional style of massage. So I would have to probably start teaching people how to massage where you're not dealing with a sequence. You're dealing with, you know, how to get those results. Before we kind of wrap this up, I did had a question come up. I know it's kind of more towards what you were talking at the beginning. I think you mentioned... Once you started your own business, left the company, there's more things to worry about, like your equipment. Um, so I did want to ask, is the equipment really expensive to do what you're doing here? I guess, what would you say is your most expensive equipment? Well, I mean, the equipment varies in, 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 um, in shapes and in, in sizes and in, in what you need it for. Um, like, you know, I think the biggest piece of equipment that a massage therapist is going to be spending on is going to be the bed. Um, and the bed varies from $100 on Amazon, Best Massage. What is it? Uh, that's what the, that's the brand? Best Massage oh, okay. from China? <laughs> Best Massage that. from China or something like that. Uh -huh. and, and it goes all the way up to hydraulic beds that, uh -huh. you know, 
that go up and down and you just hit a pedal and it'll it'll wow. lower and you know so i mean it, and those are like three thousand dollars so a anywhere in between there you yeah. know you can you can go on ahead and use it um but realistically you know the massage field as far as you know as far as uh equipment goes it, it's very very easy on overhead um cream is usually one of the biggest things that you're gonna need you know you either oil or oil lotion or gel that's usually what you use um and it's preference but a lot of those things are like what fifty dollars per gallon so i mean and again it's gonna last you a long time so yeah it's not too bad it's not bad not bad at all well thank you so much george for taking this time thank you guys away from your business um sorry if we canceled anybody's <laughs> massage <laughs> right now but, <laughs> but yeah we really appreciate your time answering our questions and getting to know you it's so great to get to know you a little bit you know our local massage therapist here so it's really cool and if you guys are, you know, looking to get a massage and don't know where to go, check out um, Generations, Generations, massage. Generations Massage. If you're from the area, he's literally on Topanga, so mm -hmm. can't miss it, um, especially if you went to high school with us, which is just right down the street in Canoga. It's across from Tommy's, <laughs> <laughs> where we used to go after school. <laughs> um, no, definitely. Um, check him out. He's great. He's helped both of us. Um, if you have any more questions, whether it's in regards to getting a massage or wanting to become a massage therapist, definitely send us a message or send him a direct message. He'll be happy to help. And as you guys heard, he'll be starting, I don't know when, but sometime in the future, some training. So definitely follow him. His information is going to be all linked down below. So stay in touch with him and yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.